I have camped on the absolute edge of a cliff. What an amazing place. The rear diff is caked. Oh yeah, Tanner's like, it's gonna be a whole new track this time. And I don't know what that means. So let's, let's go find out. Hello and welcome to a rather special road trip. I am in my Mark II Golf Country Synchro, a factory, very limited edition, all wheel drive, lifted car that is now about 31 years old. And I'm gonna to attempt to drive 6,000 miles across the United States, socially distancing, visiting a big car show in Florida, filming on a racetrack made of ice with Tanner Faust for Volkswagen, like legit for the manufacturer. And it's already snowing. We are forecasted to have some of the most severe weather ever recorded in the United States. And I am literally leaving right now. I am freezing cold, even though I'm wearing my FCP Euro jacket. The car is literally not even warmed up yet. This is gonna be intense. Stay tuned and thanks as always to the suspension source for making all of this filming and editing and everything else for YouTube happen. If I die, I hope it's worth it. Oh boy, stay, stay with us. <laughs> First stop on the side of the highway. Yeah, it's snowing. The hood latch was a little, uh, a little rusty or a little, uh, a little sticky. So just kind of jammed with a screwdriver. I think I fixed it, but we'll see what happens. the next day. Well, I slept in a Walmart parking lot last night. Um, I probably stopped at 5 a.m. It's now 8 a.m. I um, slept really well. It's really cold, it's kind of snowing. Now it's just kind of raining a little bit. And Walmart does let RVs park um, in their parking lot. So it's kind of a safe, lit area. However, some very polite employees <clears throat> just came and knocked on the outside of the tent. We're like, we have to ask you to leave. Am I not on Walmart's parking lot? They're like, yeah, but yeah, you can't really like put up a tent. Like, eh, that's fair enough. I'm gonna leave anyway, because it's really special sleeping here last night, or sleeping in general. And yeah, I just got to the point where it wasn't safe for me to drive, so that was it. I just stopped, and it's not comfortable sleeping in a seat for a few hours there, so this takes five minutes. I would show you, but I can just put it away real fast and get out of here. So much so that if you start the car, it'll be nice and warm in about three minutes by the time it all pulls it away. Bye. Later that same evening. So I just met up with Joel and Fernandez from Orlando, Florida. They both have R32s, rocking BBSs. Um, amazing. And then Romel and his friends from Chicago. Um, everyone wearing masks, six feet apart, no touching, etc. But then the Florida rain started. It feels like 80 degrees, probably 25 degrees Celsius. And, uh, but we had to run for cover because I mean, it's streaming down the side of the car. Um, but big thank you to those guys. Very impromptu, but I appreciate them wearing masks and humoring me. Two R32s, super, super cool. All right, I'm gonna go and find dinner. Then I'm gonna go over on highway four to the west coast of Florida. And then it's just straight south over there. For now though, time to drive in my winter ice tires in the Florida heat. Probably just extra grippy, right? That's how this works. Let's take it back on the road. All right, I'm not back in Pennsylvania. This is Wawa, which is from Wawa, Pennsylvania, but they have like infiltrated every single city block in central Florida. But we're here with I Am Rick. Hello, I Am Rick. With his 91 16 valve, super legit GTI, but just a nice, clean, weekend project car i think that's fair to say that's very fair so i messed up at a previous fuel stop i i didn't put my fuel cap back on and i drove away so somewhere in south carolina there is a matching key lock fuel cap to this car which is gone forever i asked rick hey do you have a fuel cap spare with your mark ii and he's like oh i have a brand new one in a box so that was a great answer you didn't run to a store you've just had it in the, back of the truck, in the back of the car right here. And I, I liked your message. You were like, the VW gods are smiling on you. Yes, sir. Exactly. <laughs> um, this is now going to go on so that I don't pour fuel vapors and I'm not really cornering fast enough to pour fuel. There, there we go. That 
is amazing that I messaged you like three hours ago and there we go, it's, it's fixed. I'm a little sad that the original one with the locking key and the ignition is gone. Grand scheme of things, this is amazing. I filled up again, 10 gallons, 20 miles per gallon is what I'm averaging. <sighs> All right, well, we're gonna get on the road. I am going to recycle this box and then we're gonna cruise for an exit or two and then I'm gonna go down and meet Paul Barney, the uh, promoter, the host of Eurotripper and get to work on the Tiguan. Thank you, this is wonderful. <laughs> It's been a long day without you, my friend. Wait, long year? Long day? Long COVID? Anyway, that was the Fast and Furious uh, departing scene um, after Brian goes away. It's a tear to your eye. Anyway, low Golf GTI, raised Golf Synchro, cruising the streets of Florida. Very awesome. Thanks for, uh, thanks for meeting me. Hello and welcome to South Florida, Fort Myers, the home of the Euro Tripper show. One of South Florida, one of Florida's, in fact, well, let's go one of the USA's kind of bigger shows and probably one of the only ones happening at this time of year with COVID, etc. So we've got our mask on, we've got our hand sanitizer. Join me as we go take a look around the show field. I've been camping on the Gulf Country in the Tule Tapui tent. So thanks to Tule for being a partner and big, big thanks to our main sponsor, really. Big thank you to Suspension Source because they sent out brand new GoPros. So we've got upgraded equipment right now. So let's put that to good use. Let's go check out a thousand European cars right now at Eurotripper. So straight up, just the first car we walk to away from the Gulf Country is a super clean gray. I'm not gonna guess which color gray. Golf Cabriolet, lots of blue. Let's uh, let's take a proper look. So totally custom interior, got the Recaros going on. They look like, uh, are they Mark three or are they Mark two Recaros? The convertible top is a super classy touch. Color match raised, two or three piece, dang. This thing is uh, not bad at all. So we are looking for best wheels. So, I mean, right there, set of braids. Looking pretty classy. Hidden hardware on the 7 Series, some parkas. Never know how to pronounce that. It's another 7 Series. Dang, they really are VIP style in this up. There's a lot of very clean wheels going on. This is gonna be hard. So continuing on, I've got all the vendors, uh, but yeah, one close near and dear to my heart, Lickle Molly, because we have at Lickle Molly South Florida right here. West Florida. West Florida. Florida is a big state. I would think they would have like done like north and south, but it's west and east apparently. <laughs> the more you know, hiding under the shade. Thank you, uh, hashtag Lickle Molly. But also want to shout out Lickle Molly Puerto Rico because, well, you're from PR originally. Mm -hmm. And Mike, one of our good friends, they are all massive drag racing people. So it's a big scene down here, big, big scene in Puerto Rico as well. Today we're kind of a less performancey show, a lot more slammed, a lot more, uh, a lot more show maybe than go. But anyway, there's a massive flourishing scene both here and on the island. So uh, it's great to meet you in person. Definitely, yeah. So, yeah to meet you in person. And I am rocking Lickamole. I'm carrying an extra jug because I'm doing so many miles. <laughs> Do you have the MOS2 here? Yeah. This is 
the MOS2, which literally my dad used back in the day. So this stuff's been around for like 80 years or something, but I'm using the premixed because- This one is 2050 premix. Okay, We're there we go. The 1040, right? 2050, thankfully my eight valve is not burning enough oil okay. that I have to go up to the 2050 and try and slow down the burn. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is it, just premixed. One really weird thing, and I'm not trying to turn this into an advert. Mm -hmm. The first time I got the premix, MOS2 and I poured it in, I'm like, did I put used oil in it? Because it's the darkest color. Yeah. Like when you take out your oil and you put it in nice and clean, it comes out dark and you're like, oh, it was time for me to change my oil mm -hmm. based on the color. Yeah, I mean, look, look, there it is. It is literally like just a dark, dark color. And that's because of the MOS2, yeah. which is mono blah, blah, blah. Molybdenum disulfate. There we go. That's, that's the pro saying. One more time. Molybdenum disulfate. Molybdenum disulfate. Yep. MOS2. Um, yeah, if you do use it, don't be concerned. It is correct. <laughs> it is the correct color. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks you. for everything. Thanks for being Thank you. you. Thanks for everything. Appreciate <laughs> All right. it. Enjoy the rest of the show. All right. Bye. Something we're seeing more and more of, well, modified Tiguans, just modified SUVs in general. And that brings up an interesting conversation. Are we seeing other manufacturers like this? Are people doing like Mercedes MLs or, or BMW X3s, X5s? Maybe they are, and I just don't notice them. But like this orange Tiguan looks phenomenal on our line, but I keep seeing them dotted up more and more. So, and then think about the towels that's coming out. You can check out another video in the past we saw that but there are two here today both owned by volkswagen not available to buy yet not available to drive but they are here and i think that's going to be a whole car to be modified it's just funny just how much we're seeing them changed Take care. Good to meet you, man. Yeah. all right that was my old polo back in the day i found it in holland brought it over and it's looking pristine just just loving it loving it I don't know what to do. It was hiding under a car. I want to like take it to the woods, but I don't want it to like... Get run over. It will run, right? He's going to run, but I should go that way. Oh. oh, there he goes. Yeah, yeah, go to the woods. Go to the woods. There you go. All right. Yes, hey. <laughs> Your car looks amazing. Thank you. Hey, all the parts are yours. <laughs> All right, well, now we dealt with the rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the bumpers, Euro hatch. Love I it. I remember in Helen when they hit me, yes. you, you donate me the bumper, the, the rear bar. Yeah. Yeah, I still have all that stuff. Amazing. Dude. <laughs> well done. Thank you. So, yeah, this car has been around for a while. Absolutely a while. And yeah, he got rear ended, so I gave him the bumper for free and looking awesome. I think the BBS throw stacks. There are other non Volkswagens here. BMW, of course, lots of Audis as well. Another killer Mark III. What up, Jamie? So are we gonna make this happen? Your car and my car? What about it? Same color. Oh, yo, wait, okay. <laughs> oh, it looks so gray right now. Yeah, yeah, you guys had it on lock. But the Mark III's in this section? Thank you, man. Killer. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's the white silver metallic. Yeah. We've got the sport plaid material going on the Recaros. Oh, radio delete. Very nice. Yeah, give it a little one. It's still warming up. Alright, 
right, so yeah, this is my Mark 7 Jetta that I built for the SEMA show in 2018. And it's always had the Borla exhaust. This system was designed by Borla specifically to be unveiled on this car with the ECS rear valance. But I had factory cap, factory downpipe, and now from Black Forest, this is the first time I started it up after getting these new, the air intake, the downpipe, everything, and it's a little rowdy. It's for a 1.4, like it's it's very, very rowdy. It's been gone for the last year during COVID, but there's the 3D printed body kit, the rear, everything, it's all 3D printed, the front lip. We've got the Recaros in there as well. There's a lot going on in this car. SEL premium headlights, they're a direct swap. A bunch of people always ask me about that. You just extend the wiring and the colors are different, but the pinout is exactly the same. And for some reason, someone cleaned the wheels and put something weird on it so i'm gonna have to undo that but it'd be weird to have it at home and actually it's not going home it's going to go to a dealership they're gonna display it in their showroom for a little while so i'm i'm down with that Well, the show has wound down. I did get to choose best wheels. I ended up going with the Mark 1 Caddy. Those wheels are centers made in Russia by an unknown brand or person. The owner bought them, had them shipped over, color matched them. They are directional. And then he had the center cap CNC'd with Caddy on them. And he rebuilt them up using BBS lips and barrels. Uh, just a lot of effort put into them. Um, some of the others were just perfect finishing, things like that. The Caddy did have mismatching tires, front and rear. We went by you know, most finish or most effort, etc. Uh, the Tiguan with the, the huge uh, three piece, it was also absolutely fire. Uh, just a lot of, of great wheels, but that story, that color matching, the custom CNC parts, that's what sealed the deal there for me. So I hope you agree. Let us know in the comments. For everyone that didn't win, I'm, I'm sure you have lovely wheels. It's not, it's not personal, honestly. <laughs> Another car that I've seen from across the show field that I just wanted to come and check out, this 1980 VW Rabbit. I know it's an 80 because, well, it could be a late 79. One year only Westmoreland headlight setup. Before they went to the wraparound turn signals, the 81 to 84, it did come with these. So this is original European fenders, well, with the side marker, but a square headlight for the USA only. So really nerdy, but this one looks great. And I say it looks great because it's just so tasteful. Look, original US bumpers, but they are tucked, pushed back, flush against the body instead of sticking out like seating benches. Uh, external hood release, that's probably worth about $20,000, maybe $50,000. I don't know where the market's going, but it's basically like dog coin. So that's a lot. OEM overriders, some tasteful RSs. Perfect, perfect interior. I mean, just the baby blue. Again, the early Westies came with the European style dashboard and that one looks mint. So I am just really, this, this, this might be one of my favorites of the entire show. Matching luggage, period correct there. I don't always like louvers on a car, but this one I think pulls it off pretty well. I, I, I think this is just, just great. Just a, a perfect little combination. Tasteful, a little diesel, but tasteful little exhaust pipe. I, I just think this one's delightful. Well, this marks the end of Euro Trip where the sun is setting and my Mark 7 Jetta rolls into its nice cushy ride for the way home. I, however, am not going home. Right now, it's a 2,500 mile drive in the Gulf Country to a ice track in Colorado. I cannot wait, but you're gonna have to tune in for another episode for that. But for now, from South Florida, I would wanna give a big thank you to Paul Barney, all of the hardworking staff, both with his event, Volkswagen of America, all the attendees, there were an amazing amount of cars. I hope you enjoyed this. Big thank you as always to SolarWorks, presenting sponsor of the YouTube.com forward slash Jamie Orr. Now though, I'm gonna drive into the sunset heading to the panhandle. Florida's really big. Take care, wash your hands, wash your cars. Goodbye.